What are the advantages and disadvantages of waiting for your spouse to file divorce first if you know it's going to happen? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas. I have helped people get divorced in San Antonio and surrounding areas since 1987. And many times someone will come into my office, they want to know what their rights are, they want to know what the future is going to look like for them, but they don't really want to get divorced, they just know that their spouse is going to file. And so they want to know, should I just wait and let them file first or should I go ahead and file and get it over with? Wives especially, I think, often feel like somehow they're going to get an advantage with the judge if the judge knows that they didn't want to get divorced. Like, you know, the fault is all the husband's because the, the husband's the one that wants divorced. I don't want divorced. So, you know, thinking that the judge will give them a better deal or feel sorry for them or something, that they're not the ones that wanted to get divorced. That's simply not true. We have no fault divorce in Texas. And the judges don't care who's at fault. They're just focused on how we're going to divide the property and what are we going to do about the kids. And so there is a small advantage, a very large disadvantage, and most of the time it doesn't matter. And this is why. The small advantage is that you don't have to pay the filing fee if you wait for the other side to file first. The first person that files has a filing fee of almost $400 and you know you don't have to pay that if you're not the per first person that filed but in the end that saving 400 up front could cost you a lot more than 400 in the end and it's just a drop in the bucket compared to the attorney's fees anyway the disadvantage is in any lawsuit the person who files first is going to get to present their case first. They do opening arguments, they tell the judge what the case is all about, what they want, they put on their witnesses, they decide what order to call the witnesses and who they want to call, and they may not even call the other side. They may just put on their side of the story and then rest. Now, in reality, at that point, the other side is supposed to be able to put on their testimony and their witnesses, and then um, the first person gets to do a small summary, and that's the end. So there is an advantage that you got to persuade the judge first with your point of view. You got to wrap up in the end and answer to whatever the respondent said and, and make the last impression on the judge as well. There's an advantage to doing that from a persuasion aspect. There's also something that happens that's not supposed to happen but many times the judges will cut it off in the middle judges are very busy they have a lot of cases they have to get through and they've heard one side of the story they think they know how they're going to decide they call the attorneys in halfway through and say look i've already made up my mind this is what i'm going to do you can either take this or you can go out in the hall and work out some kind of deal different but I don't need to hear the rest. I've already decided. You can insist. You can go back and say, Judge, you know, we have a constitutional right for you to hear both sides of the story, but that's just going to make the judge mad, and he will, in the end, probably make it worse for you because you made him sit there for another two hours and hear your side of the story. And so anything that he can hold against you, he's going to hold against you because you made him listen to the rest of it. So... Most cases will just, you know, work things out in the hallway at that point or they'll take what the judge is going to say and, and, and that's the end of the case. And that puts you at a terrible disadvantage because the judge has only heard the other person's side. Many times it doesn't matter at all because the cases settle and they never even go to trial. In fact, most of the time they settle, so it doesn't matter who filed first. So you've got this, this decision to make. You can wait and let the other side file. You don't know when it's going to happen. You can live in dread and wonder when you're going to get served with papers. And in the meantime, once you get served, you are in a situation where you have a small advantage and a very large disadvantage hanging over you. Or you can go ahead and file first, get it over with, and know that you're going to be able to present your case first if you go to trial. So to me, it's better to just go ahead and file because you can't force someone to stay married to you if they don't want to. I do. 
I did. I'm done. Come see me.